One drill that's been making the rounds on social media lately is a split grip drill. I like to use that here at Baseball Rebellion uh, for a number of different reasons. And it's a pretty self-explanatory drill. The split grip, what you're gonna do is have the hitter slide their top hand up. There's no grip on this wood bat, but it'd be towards the top of the grip of a metal bat or you know where the pine tar is on a wood bat. What that's gonna do, what I try to accomplish with that is if I have a hitter who tends to lose the barrel, whether it's dragging it behind their body or pulling it across, they just don't have real good feel for the barrel and barrel control. So by sliding the hand up, we're actually taking our top hand closer to the barrel and it's a little easier for the hitter to feel the control of, of the barrel and how long it should stay square into the zone. Another thing it does is gonna help with posture. So as I move my hands up, I make the bat shorter. So if I have a hitter who pulls this front shoulder and loses their posture up, so as they go to hit, they lose that spacing. Well, now with the shorter bat, they have to exaggerate that and create better side bend and tilt to the ball. So again, we're trying to feel and connect with the barrel and keep it square through the zone while supporting it with our body and having good side bend. Again, this is a drill that's been on social media the last couple weeks. I really like it. Um, and it's one that some of our older hitters like to do, whether it's with the flat bats or whether it's in side toss or whether it's in front toss or the tee. Whatever it is to create the feel for the hitter to feel the direction of the barrel released towards center as opposed to pulling offline or pushing the barrel out. We don't see a ton of pushing out away from us, but there is a lot of hands getting into the zone and then turning left really early and exposing the end of the bat. So by raising our hand, we cut down the distance, we have more control of the barrel, we're able to feel where the barrel is and where the barrel is directed. Another thing that's important with the split grip drill is we don't want to release our hand as we swing. We want to hold on and feel like this top hand drives and turns the bat towards center field. We're actually going to hold it and stick our finish there. So again, great for direction, great for posture, um, and great for overall control of the barrel. So give it a shot with one of your guests.